Listen, I'm going to wake up in the morning, I'm a piss excellence. Big deal, right? I'm joking, I'm joking. Unbeaten in six pro fights with five wins. Man, look how young I look. I just hungry. Stipe Miosic is a top level athlete. Oh, I was terrified. I had no idea what I was doing. I was terrified. I remember being in the back of the locker room getting ready for my fight with Joey Beltran. And I remember doing a high eye kick and I slipped and fell on my back. And I was like, whoa, joke around and no one laughed. It was so awkward. Thank God the first one was out of the way, yo, because like it was rough, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't back down from the challenge. Uh, talk to you about getting in there and fighting tonight. Ready to do it. Ready to throw my hands down. Let me start over. That was terrible. So I've never done this before. So. <laughs> nothing's changed. <laughs> Eleven years later, nothing's changed. I'm gonna start by me beating Shane. Just on tonight. Every throw punches left. And, oh, God, I suck at this. Shane's gonna have no clue what's gonna. Oh. I do admit I've improved. Um, it still sounds like I smoke ten packs of cigarettes a day, but. Nothing's gonna change. Well, you have a really long, illustrious UFC career. We'll do this many oh, times. Yeah. Well, I plan on it. I ain't going nowhere. And I knew that. And listen, I love, if it wasn't for uh, my coaches and my teammates, I wouldn't be here. But like, yeah, we, like, we, we're good. I knew I was gonna be there. And man, I look way fuller in this picture, man. Do I, do I look fat. Stipe born and raised in Cleveland, the suburbs. Of oh, good right hand by Stipe. Arlovski's up. This could be it. He's screaming at Dana White, give me my shot, give me my shot. Yeah, I just, just I don't know what happened. Something happened before that fight, and I was just really pissed. And then just, you know, I finished him, and I was like, that's enough, dude. This dude's right number two, he's right ahead of me, number one, whatever it was, and I knocked him out. I'm like, dude, come on, let's go. Give it to me! I want it! Keep it! I wasn't planning on screaming and saying that, like, yeah, 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 you know, it's not like a baby, but I, I just got sick of it. I just wanted to just let me know how I felt. My wife actually just brought it to me the other day. She's like, what fun is it when everyone was there? And I was like, it was, it was, it was Vegas when we were lost. And she's like, you're right. It was so much fun. It, and it was so much fun. Like, I will never forget that. I, was, I mean, it was a tough time just with everything going on, but it was like the right time, if that makes sense, with like everyone coming together. Fabricio aggressively attacking. Yeah, that was crazy. You know, we work on that technique all the time, going backwards, throwing right hand, and then, you know, if, you know, it finally worked after so many years. Not saying finally worked, but finally came to, together to do it. And, uh, oh man, how bad that sound? Like, oh, yeah, the world champion. It was so awkward, it was so quiet, but uh, we, we've been training for that day. We, we've, been, we've been working hard, all of us together, sacrificing a lot to get there, and we got there. And we haven't stopped, and we're not stopping. I didn't get any sleep because, like, my adrenaline picked back up, and I'm like trolling the internet, and this and that, and uh, it was a long flight home, and then I, I almost crapped my pants. I ate some some greasy food, and I landed in Cleveland. And I was like, oh! And then everyone's standing at the at the at the gate with like, "Congrats, champ!" And I'm like, "Oh my god, this is not good." And then yeah, it was great. Though. It was worth. I listened. I would rather. I would. It was okay. I would have crapped my pants just for that. I get goosebumps right now thinking about it. The only time I ever got goosebumps walking out. It was a little too much for me. I wasn't expecting people to screw my name like that. And, it was rough. Like it was like hard, man, because I was just yeah, I was getting used to thinking about it, holy crap. It was crazy. Cause like, yeah, I'm usually fighting in Vegas or somewhere, you know what I mean? Like being in your own town and listening to that song and people are singing that and screaming your name, it doesn't get better than that. That's like it was like surreal. Postured up. Eight shots! He's out! Hit it! It's all over! Man, just something you think about and dream about, like something do something like that and I got to do it. I had to make it dramatic, right? He put me on my butt and I was like, God dang it. Got up, got out of the choke, and then uh, took him down and finished up on top. Yeah, that was crazy. How loud was that place, huh? I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I just kind of franked the tank in once in a while when I, I'm like pumped up and jacked up, and then just I was like, ah, oh, I was like, oh wait, oh wait. So it was a great night too. It was fun. We we had the best time. I remember going to bed at five in the morning. My friends were going to bed at seven thirty, walking out of the bar to see sun. You know, and we got we got some good friends, and you know, we had a private party. It was fun. It was a good time. All right, gentlemen, uh, you know, he's a tough guy. You know, he came in, um, you know, he hits hard, strong. Um, that's about it. I mean, he, uh, he brings it, and he was trying to knock me out. And just like I'm doing, trying to do him. Listen, he's coming to get, he's better than he was before, and so am I, though. Stipe Miocic has survived and conquered Francis Ngannou tonight. Oh, yeah, I was so tired. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby, I won. There's a big. <laughs> Yeah, R2. <laughs>
Yeah, I was, I was just tired. It was long, it was long, I was grueling, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's all right, fight's a fight. Bro, you're like the real life Rocky. Hey, yo, I'm in! <laughs> I did it! Yeah, I mean, this is who I am, man. I'm just gonna do what I do, man. I'm, I, I ain't no one different, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I would fight, I, you know, on TV and all that stuff, and, you know, I'm a world champ, but listen, I might, I might wake up in the morning, I'm a piss excellence. Big deal, right? I'm joking, I'm joking. DC knows he's pissed. Oh, thank God. That was a tough fight. Yeah, so that was uh, the second DC fight. I caught with a good buy shot after him with a couple before that. And then I saw the opening, got an angle on him with a good right. That, dude, that was again a Frankie Tango moment. I had no idea what I was doing, I just did it. True story. Yeah, man, uh, it was just great to get it back. You know, I just, uh, he's a hell of a fighter, man, honestly. You know, he, you know, he beat me the first time. It wasn't my night, but, uh, you know, I, I got it back. Heavyweight champion of the world! You could talk to that guy, 20 years old, making his UFC debut. Any advice for him, anything you tell him? Bitcoins, bro. Invest in Bitcoins. <laughs> That's it, man. Appreciate it.